Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today is day four of the most exciting personal growth experiment I have ever done. I hope you're finding it exciting. I, I know you must be finding it challenging. I know I found it very challenging. It is nice though, because remember, it's not a commitment. This isn't written in stone. You're not signing yourself up to take your life like an Etch-A-Sketch and just shake it all apart. But this is definitely going to change your life if you do follow it. It will make you healthier. It'll make your brain healthier. It will totally overhaul your life. All right, so moving on. Five more questions for day number four. This is the last day of questions. Tomorrow is the last day of the challenge. Tomorrow I will have action steps for you to take should you wish to accept that mission. All right, so today, if I could do anything with this year, what would it be? And I'm not saying write down plausible things that you could really do this very year. I'm saying if you could do anything this new year, what would it be if money wasn't an issue? If you didn't have to have hard conversations with anyone? If you weren't tied down by a job somewhere? What would you do if you could do anything? It's exciting. Guess what? It's possible. Okay. Am I truly passionate about my career? I am. This is part and parcel of what helped me change my life. I now live my dream every single day. I cannot be happier. It's been incredible. I, uh, I used this method to move across the country once, sell everything and travel once, uh, to move back across the country once, to open businesses I never dreamed possible. This is, this is big. So are you passionate about your career? And if you're not, what are you gonna do about it? It's just gonna take some bravery. And honestly, it's scary as all crazy. I get it, I get it. But if you could do something to change your career, what would it be? Because I'm pretty sure not every single person watching this is happy with their career. You can be, you can be. Make your passion your career takes a while. If you want any help in doing so, please comment below and I would love to help you. All right. Moving on, how well do I take care of my mind, body, and soul? We take care of ourselves by drinking water, we work out, we take time in nature, we do a lot of things like that. Are we taking care of our minds, bodies, and souls? I am at huge fault for not doing this myself a lot of the time. I find a lot of my free time when I should be meditating, I should be relaxing, I should be putting my work away and just being with myself, I find a lot of the times I'm not doing it. So think about that. Okay, question number four today for day four is, have I allowed worry or fear to hold me back at all? That, that one, that second last question in this whole exercise is what yelled the loudest at me. I held myself back almost my entire life by worry, by fear, worrying about what would happen, what if, what if, what if, what ifs are the worst, and fear about what would people think. Oh my gosh, please if you have that affliction, try your hardest to get rid of that because what would people think? Oh, it doesn't even matter, and you know what? In my life, I have spoken about in this video series about being honest with people in saying no. When I was honest with people in saying no to things that I realized I shouldn't be doing, do you know the most, the most, everyone, come to think about it, on second thought, every single person gave me more respect. I was all worried this whole time about, oh my gosh, I'm worried about what people are gonna think and I'm afraid of what's gonna happen. You know what happened? Amazing things. I became so much happier People respected me a lot more, and people valued my yes and my time a lot more. It made people realize that when I say yes and I am spending time with that person, time is the most valuable commodity. When I'm saying yes to help, I need to help you. I want to help you. This is what I want to do. If you're saying yes to everything all the time, quite honestly, that quote rings true. Your yes has no value to you. Learn to say no. So. Hold your own boundaries for yourself. 
Just like I said about the airplane, give yourself your oxygen first, then help others. Okay, so that concludes the, oh no, we have one more question. I forgot all about it. One more question. How can I become a better version of me? And if the answers of the previous 19 questions don't sum that up for you, I'm sure you could think of something because there are different ways that we can always become better versions of ourselves. There are ways that I think about during my meditations daily on how I can be a better version of myself. Some of the most difficult things I've ever been through in my life ended up making me a better version of myself. And I work daily on that. You will never be complete. You will never get it done. That is not a negative thing. That is quite positive. Ourselves and our lives are permanently under construction for good reason. So how can you make yourself a better version of you? And you can do it in a second sometimes, even the littlest thing you can do, okay? So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it informative or helpful or interesting in any way, please give it a thumbs up for me. It really does help support my channel. Please subscribe to my channel so you can come back and have this place to find future awesome videos for yourself. Please share my channel. This info can help so many people overhaul their entire lives. And if you would like notifications of future videos as they are posted, please hit that little bell icon and you will be notified each time I post a new video. And until tomorrow, I want you to have super amounts of fun in your life, okay? <laughs> See you tomorrow.